Hiroshi Yamauchi. Hello everyone and welcome to Thursday. Um, if you haven't heard the news today, uh, the former president of Nintendo, Hiroshi Yamauchi, uh, passed away at the age of 85 uh, due to complications with pneumonia. Um, I do say former president. He's actually stepped down in 2002. You're probably familiar with the current president, who is Iwata, who is always on the Nintendo Direct YouTube videos that they're posting about once a month now. Um, I want to take today to teach you a little bit about Yamauchi. Not a whole lot, because there's a lot about him. He was an incredibly interesting man, and uh, there's a lot that you can read on your own time. I'm going to put just the Wikipedia link to him uh, down below, because that's pretty concise and a very interesting read. Um, but he was responsible for spearheading Nintendo into the technological era and really bringing them into the video game industry. This is kind of important to us. Why would this be important to us? Because we have fond memories of Nintendo games. And he's the person that brought Nintendo into making video games in the first place. Um, he was also responsible for some other interesting things, like he actually brought the Western playing cards, playing cards here in America, uh, to Japan. And he uh, also bought the Mariners many, many years ago, uh, which I knew about. But apparently that was responsible for allowing Japanese uh, players to play on American teams, which was very interesting. I didn't know that. A um, lot of information on him. I actually read a book many years ago called Game Over, The History of Nintendo. Um, and it talked a lot about Miyamoto, a lot about Yamauchi. And um, a lot of interesting information. So if you get a chance, do look up something uh, about him on Google because it is... It is pretty fascinating, um, especially the early years of Nintendo when they were switching over from producing playing cards to uh, making making video games. Now, to be fair, Yamauchi's probably not going to be remembered as fondly or as strongly as, let's say, Miyamoto when Miyamoto passes. Uh, Yamauchi was not responsible for you know the actual design of the games, but he did uh, bring Nintendo into the the tech era, the video game era, so I think that's very important. So, today, I want to honor his memory in the best way uh, I know how. The discussion of his reign, of Nintendo games, something that we're already doing on the vlog anyway. Um, he was president until 2002, so I think it would be appropriate, uh, and you don't have to follow this if you don't want to, but try, um, talk about Nintendo games 2002 and prior because that's when he was president. Talk about just good experiences you've had uh, just for the fact that uh, largely it was due to him. I mean in some small way it was actually completely uh, due to him and uh, his decision to to move into that market and uh, you could say in a roundabout way that without him there wouldn't be many of the characters we have today, there wouldn't be the games we have today, and so many of us grew up with these, these fond memories. Um, other people that grew up in the Super Nintendo era will know Super Nintendo was a great era. In my opinion, the best era. Uh, and we have a lot of fond memories, so talk about those. Talk about some of your favorite gaming moments. Anything that would, um, I don't know, just bring fun and joy to the comments in celebration of this man's life. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Talk about Nintendo down below, and let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? Number one hits the barrel and goes down. The point it goes up, pops that balloon. And to the left of the All right, cruise men in pockets. Ready, go. Okay, yeah, okay, pass me. I've got two red shells. I have got two red shells. <laughs> oh, wow, you landed and kept going. <laughs>